Hey, what is up? Today, the Razer Enki X Chromi and My Melody Edition. When Razer first unveiled its Enki line of gaming chairs, it was priced above other competitors due to its extra bells and whistles, a claim for ergonomics. Knowing that, Razer decided to launch a slightly lower cost alternative and name it the Enki X line, where they will do collaborations to beef up their sales. This time, we have a collaboration dedicated to none other than gamer girls and Sanrio lovers alike. This is the Enki X in the Chromie and My Melody variant. Starting off the design, the Enki X looks very different from their Iska line. From the top, there is a distinct Razer logo sewn on top of the headrest with a plastic cutout for its sporty look. Moving down, there is a mini print of Chromie on the left and My Melody on the right sitting atop a monogram of both Sanrio characters as a backdrop, adorning the edges of the 110 degree shoulder arches. If you realize, the Enki X drops one of the biggest features of the more expensive chairs, and that is the adjustable built-in lumbar support. It's simply just a built-in lumbar backrest with a purple cross-stitch cushions, lined against a central pink strip of leather. There's no memory foam headrest cushion included this time, and none of the same theme by Razer either. The backrest wraps you lightly in a comfortable and non-intrusive way that you can hardly feel constrained in your movement, even if you have wide shoulders. The entire backrest and seat base uses the same EPU synthetic leather, and there are purpose stitching seams all around the chair, giving it a clean and minimal aesthetic that adds to its quality finish. The pivot of the reclining backrest is a simple light grey plastic cover on the outside, encasing the black metal pivot joints that holds the backrest and seat base in place. However, instead of magnetic covers that we see on some of the competitors' chairs, Razer has stuck to the tried and true standard screws to attach the side plates on. It definitely isn't the most pleasing way to assemble that part, but I can see why they did so. On one hand, Razer could lower some costs on the material side and dedicate more costs to make the print more premium, knowing that users wouldn't interact with tightening screws that often anyway. On the right, you'll find a lever that allows you to push back the backrest position to 152 degrees, decently sufficient for a short nap or a short relaxation rest. On that note, I'm glad to report that it's impossible for any toppling issues even if you keep your legs crossed and lean all the way back at 152 degrees. Moving on, the armrests are 2D and wrapped in a rubber finish with plastic extenders that slides upwards and downwards with a push of a button at the bottom of each armrest. The armrests are also capable of moving inwards to fit your typing or gaming needs, or outwards to create more space for cross-legged seating. There is however no option to push the armrest forward or backward to bring it closer or further away from your desk to the chair. On the bottom of the armrest which attaches to the seat base, fortunately it's made of metal and the L-shaped curve is covered with yet another piece of plastic to protect users from any potentially sharp metal points. With all that we need to know on the exterior of the prints, we also need to consider the cushion density to determine its comfortability. At its core, it's filled with cotton and polyester layer to give it thickness, together with a multi-synthetic leather, wrapping the outside layers, and lastly, a resin finish on the outermost surface to give it a shine. Razer claims that it is tougher than more durable than standard PU leather, and the plush yet dense high-density PU molded foam cushions supports your body shape. It's indeed just enough density and firm support for a gaming chair to feel right for ergonomic users. For long gaming sessions, I do experience some heat trapping when used in a non-air-conditioned room. At its best, I could sit for around 4 hours straight without standing up if I were to use it in an air-conditioned room, and around an hour or two in a non-air-conditioned room before I need to air the trapped heat. In terms of durability, it has been a while since I owned the chair and it seems to hold up fine without any peeling from small accidents as of yet. On two of the heaviest parts of the chair, the steel reinforced frame and the metal wheelbase can support the weight up to 136 kg and is ideal for gamers from 156 cm to 194 cm of height. Now you'll find a lever on the right to help you adjust the height of the seat. It's fitted with a gas leaf class 4 hydraulics 
and a 5 star metal powder coated steel wheel base that attached to the 5 of its 60mm PU casters that are plastic. I'll say it's floor friendly and wouldn't damage delicate floorings, but for longevity, not so much. Unfortunately, that's not my only pet peeve. If you realize by now, Razer has did away with using some parts from their original black green variant, but there is one part I wish they didn't do so, which is the piston. The piston is black and is visible from the bottom of the wheelbase. To me, it did surprise me at the start and still throws me off when I look at the entire product from far. I felt that it was out of place and they could at least make the visible part the same light grey colour to match its aesthetics. Hey you, new to our channel, remember hit the like button if you find this video helpful and share with someone who may need it. Do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new video reviews. Thank you for support, now back to our review. In terms of comfort, the Razer Enki X is on par with one of the better ergonomic gaming chairs that I have tested. My height and weight was in the range of the Enki X series and it seems to fit my body frame like a glove. The EPU synthetic leather is resistant to accidental water spills, which buys you some time to clean up the mess when a spill happens. And it will not likely leave a stain. Since the Enki X cushions are mostly pink and purple, I do see the EPU leather getting dirty over time and possibly darkening with everyday users, unless you do frequent leather cleaning with the right solution. All the moving parts of the Enki X is made of high quality metal, however most of the outer parts that you usually interact with are encased in plastic. Hence in day-to-day -day use, it doesn't instill much confidence in the longevity of the plastic parts as they tend to wear down easier. Still, knowing that the frame is fully metal means that internally we wouldn't face much wear and tear issues. If you wish to tighten the screws after some time of use, you do have to go through the hassle of removing the rubber cap and unscrewing the plastic cover to get to the internal frame. Lastly, Razer do offer 3 years of warranty for its mechanism and moving parts, excluding wear and tear. Thank you for watching and please check out our return review over at deradizer.com slash Razer and KX, Chromie and My Melody Edition. Also, like and subscribe to YouTube channel for the latest updates and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more.